Hello, welcome to the second session of this course on abstraction. Today we're going to look at simplification. This series of images by Mondrian um, show simplification really well. So we can see the progress from the detail here to capturing the essence of the tree uh, in this one. And we can see how that process has progressed. So editing each time, taking out uh, what isn't necessary in order to get down to the fundamentals. Here's one that I did earlier. Quite often with simplification, you can end up with an image which uh, it's not obvious that it was based on anything at all, uh, which is why I'd like to show you this one. So here we can see the chimney and the hole in it. We can see a hint of the lid just there and the waviness of this wood coming through there. Those are the main elements. Oh, there's a little bit of the watering can there too, just a curve around the lid. So those elements have been extracted and then explored and developed. I'm going to be working from this image, uh, these lovely sort of uh, ceiling arches, and I'm going to show you three different methods for developing uh, a, a simplified composition. So first of all, I'm going to start with drawing and I'm looking at these great shapes. So let's try and get these arty shapes in. So there's my first sketch uh, from those arches. Um, normally I would do several, trying out different compositions and so on, but uh, that's useful enough for, to illustrate. Um, I happen to be quite scruffy and quite like working quite scruffy on a drawing, but you could work much neater. Here is a, a similar um, exercise, but much, much neater, much more careful patterned uh, and so on. The second exercise is all about repeating the same shape over and over again. So I've taken the arch shape um, from the previous drawing and I'm going to use this template to draw around it. You might ask why I'm working with red and blue and I'll tell you, I don't know, I just fancied them. Uh, you could Try out different colours and see which colour combinations uh, you particularly like.
game is something like this. Do as many uh, as you like to help you develop your ideas. So here's one which was a little bit more organised and uh, and more carefully uh, filled in that I did earlier. Looks a little bit too much like McDonald's. That's the only problem. The third exercise I'm going to be using wax resist. I'm going to be using a candle because the wax is clear and I'm going to be using Anilinkis because the colours are lovely and bright. You could use oil pastels, you get a slightly different result. Um, you could um, use inks or watercolours or any kind of paint, you could even dilute acrylic paint. So I'm going to take that shape and I'm going to start to with the arch and start to draw it on here. And at this stage, you can't see anything and neither can I, so I hope I've done it all right. And then I'm going to put a wash, a light color on. And the wax will be revealed. I've dried that off and you can see the white lines showing through from the first layer. And then I'm going to go back over doing some more. And what's interesting about this is you can't really see what you're doing. So you get interesting, surprising results. Can't remember where I've been. And now I'm going to wash over with a dark colour. Again, I've dried it and then I'm going to do the same again. Trying to fill in some of those gaps. And I wash with a dark colour.
So there's my finished uh, wax resist. It's not as good as the one I did previously, but hopefully you get the point. So now I'm going to look at taking the best from the experiments I've done and bring it together into a composition. So here are my um, experiments playing around with simplifying that shape. Um, you are allowed to not like um, some experiments. I don't like that one. Can go. Now I want to look at these and see what it is that I would like to take from them. And I definitely like these strong lines that you've got in here, particularly white lines. Um, I do like the slightly scruffier feel that we've got here. But composition wise, I think that this is the most interesting one. And I've just got a device to help me think about that composition a little bit more which is two pieces of paper that I can move around and see if I can crop this in such a way that it's more interesting. That's a little bit too into a cross. there that's the composition that i'm going to work on my pictures are just out of the um the shot from the camera and i've roughed out my composition and i'm going to get started with a layer of painted color now i have a tendency to um to shy away from strong colors so i'm going to start off with lots of strong colors and then if i have to i'll edit it back so My first layer of colours, not looking like much at the moment. Um, I've dried it and now I'm going to glaze back over the top with uh, slightly different colours. Okay. So now I've got it looking a little bit more interesting, I'm going to start working back into it. Um, thinking about 
with a different colored lines first of all so tipex pen There we have my final composition. There's going to be a short slideshow now showing you examples of students' work. Then I'll be telling you a little bit about the next session. Next session, we'll be looking at zooming in closely into a subject in order to, to find an abstract composition within it. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's session. And if you do Facebook, please do post pictures of what you've achieved on the Artful Facebook page. Details coming up in a moment. Bye bye.